Alright, I was just working on this 750 Triumph T140 motor here. I think it's a 73, 74. Um, we rebuilt the whole thing. Uh, we've, well, we're going to be rebuilding the whole thing. At the moment, it's got a reground crank. Uh, we've put new cams in. I think it's got a stock T140 7017 and a T121 net profile 3134 on the exhaust. Uh, Reboard it. New, new set of slugs in there. Um, I was getting out to doing the cam time and I thought this might be useful to somebody. So I thought I'd just video this little thing I'm about to make. I've started machining the bits already. Nobody needs to see that. It's, it's quite basic. Basically I've got this bit of frame tube. Um, what I want to do is get that screwed on the end of the crank so that I can have the timing disc outboard on this side but still be able to see the timer marks behind it before I had it bolted on the alternator side and constantly looking over the top of the motor and I figured I'd just make this thing and show you what I'm doing so what I've done is because I replaced all the nuts and bolts I went through the, the box of old bits and I've got the old crank time and pinion nut which I'm going to fit on backwards and press into the end of this tube which I don't need to see that I've just machined a little relief out on there so that the step on the end of the nut will fit in there after I've given a bit of welly with a hammer of a vice and on the other end I've got an alternate the old alternator nut which I've machined a little shoulder on where the hex would be halfway down the hex which will go on the other end In there again I'll press that in that'll keep it all straight and the whole lot will go on the end so I'll just tack it all together I won't weld it all the way around I'll just put a couple of tacks on because I don't want that alternator stud to not be able to thread in there if it distorts with welding it doesn't need to be strong or anything it's just got to it's just got to stick on so when I back, put a span on the crank the, the time the wheel turns around on this side Make a whole lot easier to see. I might do another video later on on what I'm doing with the cam timing because it's not going to quite be stock. I've got to do a bit more reading on that. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, I'll just get this put together and then I'll show you the finished thing. It might be useful to somebody that's doing doing the same job. And as far as I'm aware, there's not a tool out there that you can buy which will do that. So bear with me and I'll uh, I'll get on, I'll show you. Okay, I've put those uh, those two machined ends into the reliefs that I've made in that bit of tube. That's just uh, it's an off-cut from a bit of frame off that uh, triumph behind me. So I'm not going to weld it all the way around. I'm just going to put a couple of little slots on it. They're in there pretty tight, but so that the timer wheel doesn't move. I'll just put a couple of little uh, tacks on them so it doesn't shift about a bit. Dirty well because I'm cleaning the nut at all, I didn't even wash it. So I've just tacked it, tacked it on a couple of places. Uh, I'll check if it's screwed on the crank in a second, but before I do that, this is a standard T140, T120 alternator stud. Obviously fits in the uh, 
in the in the nut as I intended to. Well, the absence of the strong extractor because I left that away. I just clamped that on the old phone number twenty four. It's gone a bit tight because of the welding, not a drama, uh, because although I've lost the right size wrench, can't put my hand on at the minute, I've got the old faithful hammer, the old 12 inch hammer there, that'll, uh, that'll get that round in there. As I said before, these... Uh, these nuts were the ones that came off the old engine which was pretty flipping mangled when I dismantled it. So every single bit that's going in this thing, although the nut doesn't look new, everything that's going inside it is going to be brand new for it. all the fasteners. Yeah that is tight. Probably, probably helps if uh, if you haven't got a, uh, a vice balanced on a fridge. That's in, that's in. And because the, because the stud, the old says the stud's got a shank on the bottom and that disc is only very, the timing disc is only very thin, I'll buy another nut anyway but this new one that I bought already, I'll just go and put it in the lathe and I'll machine the first couple of threads out of it, so that it goes all the way down, clamps the disc tight, Okay, so studs fitted in, I took that new nut and I just put a little tiny relief on the end of it so that the shank doesn't foul it and we can clamp up onto that disc. I should have probably checked this before I pressed play on the video to see if this thread's on but first inspection looks okay. I might have to get the old knuckle smasher 3000. Good. That nut's on backwards, but for this purpose it doesn't matter. Um, that nut there, again, I've checked that on the uh, stud on the alternator side. Did thread on a little tight. Doesn't matter because we're going to switch that out anyway. That thread's on there, that's okay. And that nut will now be part of this kit. And then we've got our eBay timing disc. We've got a lock on the boat, so that won't, that won't turn. So that's a bit tight because obviously I've had the, uh, the nut in the lathe and other than the vice, not ideal practice, but it's not like it's going in an engine. This is only just got to wear. That's a bit more, but yeah, we can live with that. It's only a two. Be all right. right. You get the idea. You can see where, it, see where I'm going with it. Just move you around here. That's how, that's how it'll be on the engine. So when we're looking at the marks from the cams to the intermediate wheel and the crank, we can see everything that's coming on behind it, and it's far enough away that it's not going to interfere with what we're doing. We can even leave that on there if we need to pull the cam wheels off and 
find another keyway. I haven't figured out which keyways I'm going to use yet. You can move them a third of a tooth at a time by using a different keyway. We'll get that. We'll get there with that, and I'll probably put another video up later on with that. I'm also going to do another video when we're up top and show the dial gauges on the push rods. I'm not going to put the head on until I've timed it. I'm going to mount these these dial gauges off the cylinder head studs up there, so we can measure the opening events and closing events the valves work out the cam center which will probably be my next video actually i've got to make up the, the brackets and stuff so i'll probably cut, cut a couple of bits of metal first before i start recording that but you can see where i'm going with it hopefully it helps somebody out cheers guys thanks for watching appreciate that